Hello there, and I want to share one more time something that happened just last night. Another smoker has been released from their need to go back and keep smoking after 20 plus years of being addicted. And what makes me more joyful about this is this person is at a stage in life where she wants to move ahead. She is in her mid 40s. She wants to go ahead. She's had to raise a child on her own and there was so much attached to this habit that when she released it my goodness so much energy amazing session and so as i mentioned in the title of this video do this and you can release your smoking too release what i'm about to tell you and i'm going to use the example of this client that i worked with yesterday it took two hours and 45 minutes for her to get to her breakthrough and she knew she has reached her breakthrough because when we spoke about smoking after that she just felt being caged and she didn't want to be caged anymore and so let's go on so when this lady came to me she was experiencing what is called as COPD which is a lot of coughing that she was having. This is uh, this falls under the category of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease (COPD). Um, she has doctors among her friends who could look at her, and she has not been able to stop dry coughing. Uh, smokers cough for more than six months before she came to see me. Right, being in her mid forties, she had aspirations to get into politics. She is a uh, a senior manager in training with an NGO herself and she was really struggling with this habit as you can tell and so I warned her that when we work together I'm not going to just work on your smoking problem we're going to go deep right and she came prepared and before coming to me she had been going through this whole healing journey for the last three months working with hypnotherapists and healers and psychologists she's done um, some bit of that work in progress but she was still feeling stuck when it came to this particular habit she could not just let go of cigarette and what followed in those two hours and 45 minutes was intense amount of emotions coming out of her and I'm not going to give you details of those emotions but we can just say that it was not pleasant right she was not in a pleasant space as we went into it well, we kept going, we kept the safe space for her, letting her feel whatever she needed to feel, even if it meant being in an unpleasant state. She was going there, she was feeling safe. And in the end, she just realized that it had something to do with way back 40 years ago into her childhood. And none of this came from me. I'm not asking her to go into her childhood as she was experiencing what she was experiencing she felt like smoking in the middle of the session and we kept inquiring into that feeling into that urge and as we kept peeling back the layers it went all the way back at a time when she was feeling helpless as a five-year-old some things happened she lost a parent and she was locked in a room unable to even go close to the corpse of that parent she was locked away. She was knocking at the door. She could see through the facade of the wall. In the grids of the facade, she could see the body of her parent lying there. Everybody else moaning, but the five-year-old was locked inside her room. Helplessness was tied into and anchored into the habit of smoking. And so anything that felt like remotely helpless in her body, not consciously, in her body, her body would read that as a need for smoking. Do you see how deep this goes, my friends? You really have to go deep in order to release something like a habit. And so coming back to the title of this subject or this live stream is drop this and you can drop your smoking addiction or any addiction regardless of what you're hooked on to is it dopamine coming from social media is it pornography is it food sugar is it some person is it smoking is it alcohol gambling it doesn't matter 
it doesn't matter drop this meaning drop your story drop your identity no one is tracking your story other than you not even the social media and so when i say drop it it does not mean that you ignore it it simply means that you're willing to acknowledge everything about your story and go deep into it to the point that you're not ignoring any parts of your story only because they're unpleasant to you and they make you feel a certain way like in this case my client's case she was feeling helpless and then we went into other areas of her life as well but wherever she felt helpless her body would crave for cigarettes right it was a downward spiral because smoking would make her feel helpless too and in order to come out of helplessness she was used to smoking again you see it was like a loop that she was stuck in and now it's broken she's free right so we tested we make we checking to make sure that she has quit so i kept asking her like you know why don't you go and try out something she's like no i feel caged exactly like that little girl it completely turned around the subconscious mind turned the story when she was feeling trapped as a little girl in her memories which made her smoke now when she thinks about smoke she feels trapped and stepping out means stepping out of that room so she feels free she got her freedom right and why do i take the time to share this here because these are real stories and a lot of times some of these real stories could affect you in an unconscious way and you might just quit smoking cigarettes so it is really my hope when i talk about behind the scene it's not to kind of spill the beans on my clients as you would understand um confidentiality is one of the um key features of the agreements that we sign with the client and privacy as well so you will not hear me give names and details of my client and not even go into the main issues as you could tell in this example but i share it so that you are able to connect and if you are into some kind of addiction you are stuck in a certain loop that this connection will work in your subconscious mind and that you will be able to break through in any case if what i'm saying is resonating with you please put a comment like it share it with somebody so that it can reach more people and more people can really live from their authentic greatness and not have to remain stuck in something that happened 30 40 years ago it's time to really let go and fly and in the end this client said it's time to rise it's time to fly not my words her words and i feel so privileged to be able to sit and watch all of this transformation and i love doing what i'm doing i am passionate about it and that's how you feel when you watch these videos do not hesitate to drop a message let's have a chat and see how quickly we can get you out someone can leave something as old as two decades in two and a half hours can you imagine what that does to their level of self belief self confidence and self esteem and that my friend is just the beginning the first domino of the layers of dominoes lined ahead i can't even imagine how far this person is going to go all right well i wish you all the best and take care of yourself bye